So believe it or not, the iPhone 12 is still selling like crazy, which is so insane. A lot of people are actually still picking up and buying an iPhone 12, which is a beautiful sight to see. Now, how do we even know this? How do we know that the iPhone 12 is still or iPhone 10 is still being sold? Well, in fact, if you just look at one specific provider of you know places, websites that sell used products, eBay, for example, probably the biggest website out there, a lot of people, if you look at them, you know, the iPhone 10, if you search it up, and if you look at these sold listings, if you just kind of scroll through, you can see the sold date. When the day I'm recording this is the 27th, but I can see even up until yesterday, there were still tons of iPhone 10s being sold. Now, why is this even important? Well, for what I do want to put out there, a lot of other iPhones are still being sold as well, don't get me wrong. I mean, tons of iPhone 8s and 6s and 10 Rs are being sold. But the one iPhone I keep seeing beyond all of them is kind of the iPhone 10. It looks like a lot of people, more probably than the other iPhones, are selling the iPhone 10 more than maybe some other older iPhones. Now, I would probably argue the iPhone 10 is one of the iPhones you should look out for if you're you know, planning on buying an iPhone in the used market right now. There's no point in buying an iPhone that's older than these ones because they are not supported with software. So the 7 and the 6S are no longer supported with software. So there's not a big reason to go and buy those phones unless you're on an extreme budget or you need a backup phone or you need like a some side or like side device of some sort. But looking at these specific price tags of these iPhone 10s, I can kind of see that they're selling for $210 for the base model. Some are selling for substantially less. I'm looking at another iPhone 10 in really good condition with some accessories for about $194, not including shipping, which is about $8. So there is definitely a range. I'm also seeing one for $175. Now, the reason, like I said, why this is so cool is because the iPhone 10 is such a good quality phone. It is a very quality device with a lot of features still within it. And this is showing to me that not only are people still okay with buying an iPhone 10, but the fact that a lot of people are still buying these iPhones will probably keep the prices leveled out on that $200 to $150 price tag probably for the next year or so, which is really good if you're planning on not only selling your iPhone 10, but also buying an iPhone 10. If you plan on buying an iPhone 10, especially around this like $190 price tag, that's kind of what I'm seeing where the really, really good condition ones are, you're going to be buying, in my opinion, a piece of Apple history. This is a really good quality iPhone that you can still keep for many, many years to come. And that is a really cool thing. The iPhone 10 is easily one of my favorite devices Apple has ever made. It still has so much capability behind it. And even when this thing gets unsupported with software, whenever that is, it's still going to be a very powerful phone. Like it's crazy to me that this phone came out in 2017. I look at other 2017 phones and I don't think they can hold up as well as probably the iPhone 10 does, which is so crazy. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.